All right, so this is the blue bird. So this is a uh, Russian movie. It's uh, based on the play by Maurice Maeterlinck. Um, it's so the original story is basically about uh, like these two kids who. Uh, go off on some adventure to save like this uh, blue bird um, and you know I think they like express desire to uh, be rich but uh, um, yeah and, and I guess the blue bird in the cage kind of represents like obtaining like riches or whatever but uh, you know the uh, <clears throat> The right thing to do is to let the bird free and uh, you know then they learn true happiness and uh, yeah there's a uh, little moral in there about uh, how true f happiness can be found with like family and stuff <coughs> so you know it's uh, yeah it's a uh, nice little moral I guess um so yeah this movie um has its own little art style it's um you know part of it is like uh cutouts with like like photos of like real people cut out um and uh but then like once the, uh, oh yeah, by the way, the uh, little adventure in the story is supposed to be like a dream, so, <clears throat> so yeah, once the uh, dream starts, then it becomes like traditional 2D animation, but, uh, you know, a lot of it's in the dark, um, and uh, yeah, the two kids are like, they're like barely illuminated throughout the whole movie throughout the, the dream parts of this movie um so yeah it's a very nice little uh you know art direction um it's very yeah I think it's um visually very very nice um and you know there's a couple nice little scenes with uh you know, uh, the kids inter interacting with, like, the ghosts of their, or the older brother interacting with the ghosts of his dead grandparents. <coughs> yeah, the girl doesn't see them, but, uh, so, there's that, and then there's, um, you know, then, um, my main issue, though, with the movie is that, uh, once again, they, uh, since it's a Russian movie, they inject some more, uh, communist propaganda in there, and, uh, yeah, I'm getting a little, yeah, I'm getting kind of tired of these communist propaganda movies. I just kind of want to see Russia do a movie that's, like, not either propaganda or some folk tale. I want, I want them to try something new. That's all I'm saying. Um, <coughs> and you know, it's kind of the same old message of uh, communism good, capitalism bad. Um, you know, uh, you know these uh, mine workers appear in one scene and they're treated like the saviors of. Well, Maybe I'm exaggerating a bit, but you know these these movies do love to uh, put their uh, coal miners and stuff on a pedestal, and you know I guess in Russia that was a uh, very important thing or something. You know I'm not uh, I haven't brushed up on my history, but one moment. Um. So yeah, uh, 
So the main conflict with the movie is that uh, they gotta hold on. <coughs> they gotta save the uh, bluebird from uh, this evil businessman. Um, you know, he represents capitalism and yep, that same old crap. He wants to take over the world and stuff and. You know, he buys the bluebird from, like, um, this, uh, like, the Queen of Night and, uh, her cat, and, um, and then, like, this fairy gives, uh, you know, she gives the kids these, uh, um, yeah, some, uh, she enlists some help for them. She, like, brings, uh, fire, water, and bread to life, so yeah, that, like they all represent like different uh, what's the word well, you know, important little uh, qualities that uh, represent <coughs> or, you know, that have helped humanity through the ages um, you know uh, you know, food water fire they're all they're all pretty vital stuff um they uh i mean i think i do like see some elements of like the original story or whatever it was um but yeah they i think this one still has a lot of propaganda in it and uh yeah it's just getting really grating with these Russian movies. Um, but again, I do really like the animation. Um, <coughs> or at least I like the traditional animated parts. The uh, cutout parts are kind of weird. Um, I guess it's an interesting presentation, but... Uh, but yeah... Um, Otherwise, this wasn't bad. Um, yeah, it's a little on the pretentious side, but, uh, you know, I think it looks really good. It does a pretty good job telling its story visually and everything. Um, so, I don't know if there's much else to say. It, it looks really good. Um, this is probably one of the best um, animated Russian movies I've covered so far. I don't know, I got very mixed opinions on it, but I don't know, I guess it uh, leans a little more towards the positive, so you know, I'm not gonna I don't have too much against this movie, it just I'm just getting really sick of these communist movies, you know, propaganda. Um... But yeah, at the end of the day, I'd give it a 7 out of 10, I guess. Um, and yeah, if uh, anything I've talked about interests you, uh, feel free to check it out. Um, and yeah, as usual, if there's anything I feel I need to add, I'll put it in the comments. So yeah, I guess that's it for now. Mash it and smash it, signing off.